the soundboard and they just get to sing. I don't have to do anything. It's nice. Um, these kids are doing a fantastic job. And um, the, 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 biggest, the biggest thing about tonight um, is not only uh, witnessing the talents of our students here, but also contributing to a good cause. Um, it's been an interesting school year. Uh, we've had kids that have had a tough time uh, throughout the school. Uh, a lot of kids have been um, going through going through some rough times. There's, it's amazing. I, I talk to a lot of my students about you never know what the person next to you is going through in class, and you know nothing about that person before you say anything to them and react to anything they say or do. Keep that in mind. Um, and some of our kids have gone and, uh, and visited uh, the Akron Children's Hospital um, for for mental health reasons, and they've helped them out tremendously. And that is. Um, Sorry. <laughs> it's a cause um, that we'd like to donate to. And I'm going to bring up, uh, sorry, Emily Grabo here is from the Anchorage Hospital. Well, she's going to tell us about it. So, check, check. <laughs> Just those off, right? Hi. Uh, as Nick said, my name is Emily Grabo, and I am the art therapy coordinator at Everett Children's Hospital in the Emily Cooper Welty Expressive Therapy Center. Um, we could be more honored to be here and to support um, some of the things that Nick was talking about with mental health. Um, I don't know, a lot of people here at Expressive Therapy and they wonder, well, what is that? Like, what does that mean to be an art therapist or a music therapist? And so, I want to just tell you a little bit about what we do. So, when I think about Expressive Therapy at my Children's, I think about our mission, which is create, heal, and inspire. And we are one of very few hospitals that have a designated physical space for Expressive Therapy. So, our center works with inpatient behavioral health, we work with families in the pediatric intensive care unit. We work with the families and patients in the burn unit and the hematology and oncology units. We go through all the units in the hospital. And so that physical space becomes really important for us. Um, somebody who has a sibling in the, in the ICU might really need to get away from the bedside. Or a mom in the NICU might really need some time for herself to promote self-care. So the physical space is really important. And our physical space has designated areas to create art to do music, to do dance, to tap into whatever creative expression is going to be a good fit for that patient. When we think of HEAL and our motto, um, we employ board certified art therapists and music therapists. I myself am a registered art therapist and licensed professional counselor. Um, we do a lot of work with inpatient behavioral health individually. We have regularly scheduled um, expressive therapy groups, including creative writing, music therapy, and we have drama therapy up there as well. Um, and when you think about INSPIRE, really our goal at the hospital is to reach as many patients and families as we can. Um, being creative is just such a healthy, healthy thing. Um, a lot of times, creativity can reach where words cannot. And we don't always, as children and adolescents, have the vocabulary to express what's going on, and that's where expressive therapy can be so important. Even as adults, we don't always have those words. So we also provide support to our staff because it's really easy to get burned on in the hospital setting. And our center runs largely on donations, so we are so blessed to be here and um, that you would consider donating to us to keep our great work going. Um, I'm just amazed at the music that's coming out of tonight. It's so awesome to see people being creative and um, all of you here supporting all of these great teenagers. So with that, I'll let you have a, a little bit of an intermission so we can get back to some good music.